Hey everyone, um, so I want to shortly talk about this uh, new pedal that I have for a couple of days now. It's called the Jojo Vision and it's basically two modulation pedals in one for 90 euros. So that's great. You get nine different modes at this side and nine different modes at this side and you can use them both at the same time. Uh, I'm just going to go from left to right, play every single one, just a couple of notes, something real short, just so you get a feeling for what it is and how it sounds. Um, yeah, let's get started. This is my clean tone. Bit of reverb on there. Uh, first effect, uh, mod phaser. For every effect, you have the speed here, so the rate, and then depth and control, which is like a mystery knob. No one knows what it does. Next one, it's called, it's kind of hard to read, um, what is it called? I think it's just a chorus. Yeah, that's a chorus. Oh, drop my pick, that's not good. I have a second one to go here. Just a standard chorus, nothing special. Uh, we got a... SD phaser. Ah, oh, step phaser. Uh, and then you got a flanger. Let's put some dirt on there, shall we? Alright, let's not do that actually. Uh, ring mod. That sounds strange. What's the sound in this one? Lots of different options. Uh, then we got um, rotary. Control seems to be tone here. Next up we got the... God knows what that is, I can't read it. Liquid phaser, right. Interesting, interesting. Kind of sounds like a botched up version of the step phaser to me, but alas. Um, Tricorse. Sounding pretty nice and full actually. Alright, that's it for um, this side of the pedal, let's go to the other side. Start on the left side again. Uh, optical tremolo. Next up we got a... Um, so hard to read, Jesus Christ. I don't know what that is actually. No. Uh, Let's, let's hear it. Some kind of chorus. Um, low bit. It's pretty cool, actually. Suppose you said like the the bit depth with this knob. Yeah, 
and this becomes like your mix right now and this shirt. <laughs> Ottawa. It's too fast. Nice and funky. All right. Up next, we got the another flanger, analog flanger. These flangers are not doing it for me. Uh, regular phaser. Next, uh, octave. That's octave below to octave up. The lift just goes chromatic in between. It's pretty crazy, actually. It's crazy sounds, but. Cool, pretty cool. Uh, up next, a stutter. It goes really fast, actually. Pretty cool. Um, and lastly, we got a vibrato. That's way too fast. I like this one actually. I like it especially um, the rate nice and low. Get that wobbly sound going. So that's uh, every mode on the pedal. You can combine um, both the left and right side. So you can get um, one effect on this side, one effect on this side, and go absolutely crazy. We have a stutter with a ring mod. You don't see that often. But if you need it, it's got it. In my opinion, um, I'm not too big of a fan of this pedal. It does a lot, but it does none of it really good. Some of the modes on it are, I mean, I like them. The vibrato on it is good. The chorus is pretty okay, but it's not something that I would use if I were to write something, if, if I were to think of a song or something. I wouldn't turn this pedal on and think, yeah, this adds something. It's just like, eh. It's, it's, it's just, in my opinion, really mediocre at everything it does. Um, another problem I have with it is the readability. Um, you can't read shit. That, yeah. Let's just leave it at that. At least I can't. Maybe any glasses or something. I can't read shit, man. I don't know what I'm putting on half on the time. What are these effects even? Um, 
but for the price point, I mean, you can't complain. You really can't. It's 90 euros, and you get 19 different modulation effects. And some of them sound pretty good. I mean, maybe you should give it a shot. Who knows? Thanks for watching.